172 feet per second. All right, boys and girls, this week in Archery 101, we're gonna do some experiments. I'm always curious about how much does an arrow drop off, you know? Because I've been talking to a lot of the people that know things, like the engineers and people that design bows, and a lot of them have an opinion that with these bows at the ranges we shoot, there's not that much difference. So I'm wondering how much does my arrow decrease in speed out to about 30 something yards. And I got the perfect tool to do it. So we're gonna do some shots at five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. All right, and then we'll write them down, we'll record them. And we'll see if it's true. Now, to make it a little more balanced, I'm gonna shoot this bow right here. This is my 48 pound Ben Pearson Colt, which I love. Probably a little closer to 50 due to my expanded draw length. Then I got a 38 pound bow, and we're gonna repeat the experiment with the exact same arrows. All right, so maybe give us a little more information. Totally unscientific unscientific but it's just a you know just give me an idea of what's going on maybe you know give us a little more information to work with all right now I'm not gonna film all my tests I'm just gonna film some of them let you watch them and then we'll put it all together at the end All right, everybody, I'm all done with the testing. That took a couple hours, and I have to say, a lot more involved than I thought it would be. Why? Accuracy. I had to shoot in a very narrow window that was 1.5 inches wide on a very specific line. If my arrows were over here, I got a bad reading. Over here, bad reading. Too high, I got bad reading. I had to shoot in a very small gap, and at 30 yards and 25 yards, I don't care what you say, unless you're John Denver or D. Wayne Martin or Fawn or people like that, that just doesn't happen that much for me, all right? But I got some numbers. Now, before I go on, I am going to say, remember, this is unscientific, and I know all the know-it-alls out there that don't have any videos but like to tell everybody about stuff what they're doing wrong and all that, but won't publish a video to put themselves out for self-criticism. I understand the variables involved, all right? I understand the length of feathers can play a big part. The arrow weight plays a big part. The type of bow you use plays a big part. I got all that, all right? This here is the information I got, and it gives me a good base to start from. Now, I did use two identical bows, both Ben Pearson Colts, a 48 pounder and a 38 pounder. Right? They both have Dacron strings to the same standard and everything. They both use pretty much the same uh, silencers and neither are cut to center. My arrows were gold tip traditional XT's, 600 spine, 145 grain point with five inch feathers on the back, four of them. Now I understand how many feathers can also influence my results. All right, I'm just trying to get a base knowledge. Now, a lot of people will tell you, you need to use a shooting rig because then it's you know very scientific. Look, I'm not a machine. I have variants built into me. I, I am an inherent variance machine, okay? That's all I do is do two th everything different every time. So that's why I don't like to use machines. I'm not here for the scientific one. I'm here for real world numbers. All right, enough of my babbling on that. So my 48 pound bow, let's go over that first. My base speed, I took the low number and that was 174 feet per second. 
Now, I shot it like the manufacturer says, roughly an arrow's distance, three to four feet away from the chronograph. All right. Now, my high was, I had 174. Most of them were like closer to 179, but I took the low one just to be safe. Because one thing that happened is the sun came out, and I wasn't sure if my readings are accurate because uh, the chronograph needs to have diffused light. And I couldn't shoot through that little window, so I took that off. So I did the test, then I repeated the test when the sun came out, and I adjusted my numbers that way. So these numbers are pretty good. So my base speed was 174 feet per second. At 10 yards, my speed was 162 feet per second, a 12 feet per second drop. All right, that's a pretty good chunk. That's about 14 or 15 percent offhand decrease in speed. Now, thinking about that, it sort of makes sense. That's when my arrow is oscillating the most. It's correcting for any flaws in my shot. And my arrows are tuned uh, for my 48 pound bow to be flying straight at about eight yards. All right, so that can account for that big drop. Then at 15 feet, I had, which really blew my mind, 162 feet per second. Zero change from 10 to 15 yards, right? At 20 yards, my average was 161 feet per second, a one foot per second drop, totally negligible. So from 10 to 20, pretty much the same speed, but from zero to 10, I lost 12 feet per second. At 25 yards, I had 150 feet per second, so I dropped uh, roughly 10 to 11 feet per second. And at 30 yards, I was at 150 feet per second again. So you, you can see the window, right? Big drop. And all of a sudden, lower, lower. I did not go past 30 because if you're hunting, I don't shoot past 30. I mean, most people don't even shoot at 30. But 30 is the maximum distance for me in 3D for the uh, IBO and other organizations. And I pretty much take that as far as most people can be accurate. All right? So if you look at it overall, right off the bat, I was 174, and at 30 yards, I was 150. So that's a 24 foot per second drop that I have with that bow, all right? So now let's move to my 38 pounder. My base speed was 160 feet per second. All right, now we can go into something else. 38 pounds to 48 pounds was a 14 foot per second difference, basically. All right, so it's 160 feet per second. At 10 yards, it was at 150. Again, a 10 feet per second drop. I'm telling you, that there's something going on there that it's telling me something, that, you know? And I think when people start telling me their bow speeds, I'm gonna take it with a grain of salt because that is not what your bow is gonna be at 10 yards plus, all right? So just think about that. You're gonna probably, from what my two bows are telling me, you're going to experience between a 14 and 15 percent drop in speed right off the bat at 10 yards. So we went from 160 to 150. At 15, I was down to 145. At 20, I was at 145. At 25, I was at 143. And at 30, I was at 140 feet per second. So why is there so much difference? I put it all down to my form. With my 38 pound bow, I can really hold that baby, lock it out, and focus on my form. My 48 pounder, I get there, I can hold it, but my mind is saying, buddy, you better let this go soon or I'm going to quit. So that's how that works. So 160 to 140, I had a 20 foot per second drop. All right. Now, what I find interesting is my. 48 pound bow was traveling just as fast at 30 yards as my 38 pound bow does at 10 yards. So if you're looking for, you know, you can fur out of that what you want, but you're looking for hunting, obviously a heavier weight bow will give you that little bit more punch. All right, so that's what I found. You know, I don't know what you take out of it. I'm just using it so I can draw some things. And the biggest conclusion that I can draw is a massive drop off from that initial speed to 10 yards. And after that, it calms down and levels out. And the only thing I can figure is pretty much the arrow finishing its oscillations and its corrections and all that, and it's flying true, bleeding off less energy. All right, boys and girls, I think this is a neat experiment. You should try it. Let me know what your results are. Let me know what you think or what you took from my numbers. All right, 
I think it's pretty neat. I got some stuff to go on by now. And like I said, the biggest thing is that initial drop off. So when people brag to me how fast their bows are, I'm just going to smile and know that they don't know what's really going on. All right, boys and girls, thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time with an all new episode of Archery 101. All right, now how am I going to get out of here? All right, there's bugs everywhere. I got bugs here, bugs there, bugs under my paper, bugs in my ears, bugs in my hair. Bugs, 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 bugs